Morning boys and girls and welcome back to another Sunday School lesson. I'm so happy to be with you again and I hope everyone is keeping well and safe and I know exams are coming up for those of you that write exams so I hope everyone's studying hard and um, I can't wait to share today's story with you. So um, we continue the story of Joshua and before we get started if everyone wants to have a look in their special gift bag and find the envelope marked the 8th of November Joshua is tricked then we can get started with today's story. So we've learned that um, the Israelites were saved from Egypt by Moses and Moses passed away. So Joshua has taken over from him. And now the Israelites have been led into the promised land, but there are evil people that are already living in the promised land. They hate God and they hate God's people. So now God is with Joshua in trying to, um, to get the promised land for the Israelites and to fight any battles. So last week we learned that um, and Joshua defeated Jericho and they broke down the walls of Jericho. So now there's a whole load of tribes and people within the land of Canaan that are not happy. So they got together to um, discuss how they were going to deal with these Israelites. And they decided they wanted to go into battle. All but one tribe. And those were the Gibeonites. The Gibeonites lived in towns that were actually quite close to the Israelites. And they, um, they knew God was with the Israelites and that he'd protected them and that he'd saved them and that he'd helped them through many difficult times. So they knew if they went into a fight with the Israelites, chances of winning were not really good. So they needed to come up with a plan, um, a plan to get the Israelites on their side. And they knew that God had told the Israelites not to become friends with any of the God-hating people in Canaan. So... And today's story begins. The, 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 the Gibeonites said, if we fight the Israelites, we'll lose. The Gibeonite leader said, so we've got to trick Joshua into believing that we are not with the kings who are the enemies of Israel. Let's pretend we are from a faraway country. We'll tell them that we, went to be, we want to be their friends. So a few of the Gibeonite men dressed up in clothes that were worn out and dirty and dusty. And they put on old shoes with holes in them. They packed some dried out moldy bread and an old cracked leather bag. Then they walked over to the Israelite camp. When they got there, they told Joshua and the Israelites that they'd come from a faraway country. And the Israelites knew that God had said to them, don't befriend the God-hating people. So they thought we better just check that they are from far away and they're not from close by. So the Israelites started asking them some questions. How do we know that you're from far away? Well, look at our clothes and our shoes. When we started our trip, they were brand new. But look how dirty and dusty and broken they are. And look at our bread. When we left our house, it had been freshly baked. Now it's dried out and moldy. So Joshua and the Israelite leaders looked at the visitors' torn clothes and dusty shoes, and it looked like they were from far away. So Joshua and his helpers thought the Gibeonites were telling the truth, promising to be their friends. Seemed like a good decision, and Joshua didn't stop to ask God what he thought. So Joshua said, okay, we promise that our countries will be friends. We will not attack you. The Gibeonites' trick had worked. They tricked Joshua into promising to be their friend. The Gibeonites would be safe. Three days later, though, Joshua realized that the Gibeonites weren't from far away, that they were actually from a nearby town, and it only took three days to get there. So Joshua and the Israelites were angry, and they marched over to the Gibeonites. The Gibeonites, he said to the Gibeonites, you tricked us. I can't go back on my promise because a promise is like a promise to God. But for the rest of your lives, you will work for us, chop wood and carry water. And the Gibeonites agreed. They felt safe. They knew that now, although they'd be working for the Israelites, that they wouldn't be fighting against them. And so they agreed to work for them for the rest of their lives. And I think the most important lesson to learn from today is that um, Joshua should have asked God what to do when making that heavy decision. And I think sometimes in our lives, we face with decisions and we're just not sure what path God wants us to take. And 
that's the time to stop and to pray and to to seek guidance on on what the best thing is and that and ask what God wants from us. So I think um from the story and in our activity pack, um we've put together a little Joshua is tricked page. So what you can do is there's a, a little piece of material attached to the corner. So we thought that you could use that as an old saddle. So they obviously tricked the Israelites by saying that their saddles were new when they started and now look how old they are. And then we've attached a balloon, which you could almost use as the old leather bag that they brought to try and say, well, our leather bags were new when we started out, but now look how old they are. Then there's a picture of the moldy bread. So remember they said when they started their journey, their bread was fresh, so they must be from far away if it's old and moldy. And then the shoes. Remember, they wore old shoes with holes in the soles to try and convince them that um, they'd walked so far that their shoes had worn out. And then here's a picture of them wearing their old clothes. So um, before we sign out, I'd like to um, just read the memory verse with you. Um, you'll have a, you'll find it in your um, bag on just a small piece of paper with a heart button on it. Um, so let's have a read through that, and then we'll say our prayer. And then I thought that we could end today's lesson with a song that just reminds us how awesome God is, and that's God is an awesome God. And don't forget the actions. I know we've done it so many times in church. Um, I'd love to see a video of you guys doing your actions. Send us pictures of you guys doing your crafts. It really means the world to us. So let's get into the memory verse. So the memory verse comes from Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. If we could all um, bow our heads and close our eyes and let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together this morning. We ask that you bless and keep us and protect us during this um, different time. We ask that you bless and be with all of those writing exams, help them to study hard, because we know that without putting the work in ourselves that um, we won't pass the way we want to pass. We ask that you um, bless the week ahead of us and help us to bring any difficult decisions to you, dear Lord, so that you can help us make the best decisions so that we can be your people. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Um, enjoy the song and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, guys. Because our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven up.